He sat, but his MIE Honda goes tumbling into the gravel trap through turn 14. Yeah, sixth position and 10 points goes a begging for Taddy Mercado. It's been a strong end to the season for him and the MIE Honda team, but it ends in a bit of a disappointment. Driving rain, they're underway. Good start from Andrea Logatelli. Good start as well from Garrett Gerloff. Jonathan Ray almost asleep off the line by comparison. Cutting through is Axel Bassani. Michael Ruben Rinaldi making good progress from way back down the order. Ray recovering as they come in towards turn number one. Locatelli running wide, drops to third. Garrett Gerloff also losing out around the uh, first couple of corners, just as he did in race one earlier on today. Raz Gaglioglu it is then who leads. It's Scott Redding back up into second position. Jonathan Ray into third. Then it's Locatelli versus Axel Bassani. And Tati Mercado with a great start. Mercado is up ahead of the BMW boys as uh, Bassani comes firing through on Locatelli and up into fourth place. So uh, further back down the order, watch out for Michael Ruben Rinaldi as well. He's up into uh, P9 and Kota Mazzane also up inside the top 10. Just demonstrates what a struggle it's been so far for Garrett Gerloff. Scott Redding eyeing up a move here on top rack. Raz Gatlioglu. Bassani thinking about a move on the riders ahead of him. He's going to let them fight it out among themselves instead. Ray comes through on Redding into turn 10. Raz Gatlioglu off the line. Bassani almost cuts through on Redding again. They're almost four abreast as they come in towards turn 11. Raz Gatlioglu hanging on, but by the skin of his teeth. Yeah, the run down into 10, four abreast. You can see for Jonathan Ray attacking there on top rack. Not quite close enough to be able to make that move, but wanting to attack at this stage. He's feeling pretty confident out there willing to get himself to the front of the field obviously if you're at the front of the field you don't have to deal with any of the spray as well it'll be kicked up but it is up to you then to dictate the pace in the group top four put all oh, big moment there for Jonathan Ray as they come through turns 13 and 14 he manages to recover into the path of Scott Redding it opens the door to Axel Vasani the top four from race one earlier on today are doing battle again at the head of the field in race two Ray comes through on Raz Gaplioglu who opened the door touches the curb momentarily in a big slide there as he makes his way coming off turn six Ray, Raz Gatlioglu, Reading Bassani is your new order. Talked all day about Tati Mercado being a wet weather specialist. He's going with Michael Vandermark as the pair of them try to close back in on that lead quartet. Then there's a bit of a gap behind the number 36 as Raz Gatlioglu fires through at the start of lap two. Ray will immediately respond. It's the fighting we've been seeing all season, but never in conditions like this. Yeah, a few riders making really good starts to this race. Colton Azan is well coming from the back row of the grid into the top ten. And uh, the Japanese rider, he goes well wet conditions we saw that earlier in the season he's made a great start to this race he's right behind Andrea Locatelli but like you said Alex Taddy Mercado once again in wet conditions he's really excelling Michael Vandermark as well in that number 60 he's been able to bridge a lot of those gaps Tati Mercado, sixth position is as good as he has ever finished. Jonathan Ray out in front. Razgat the Oklu second. There is Mercado, currently sits in sixth position. He's dropping back off for the tail of Michael Vandermark on this lap, but that's because Vandermark is the man making the progress at the moment. He's cut the gap to half of what it was at the start of the lap. He is now within a second of the race leader, Jonathan Ray. Ray, Razgat the Oklu, Redding, Bassani, and Vandermark right with them. Yeah, and for Vandermark, always goes well in these conditions. Top rack tries to take the race lead. Top rack, Razgat the Oklu through in towards turn 12. Jonathan Ray tries to stick it out around the outside and eventually gives best as Raz Gatlioglu recovers the lead and Scott Redding also here with an opportunity to pounce. Raz Gatlioglu not afraid of these damp conditions. You suspected that would be the case. Yeah, top left doing a really good job in these conditions considering if wet weather had been one of the weaknesses for him but he looks pretty strong at this stage, willing to make those moves. Obviously, Jonathan Ray back into the race lead now. And here comes Scott Redding on the inside of Raz Gatlioglu. So uh, Scott Redding might go from third to first here. Looks to have more confidence at this stage of the race. Ray covers the inside line as they come through turn 17 to complete lap number two. It's now Ray, Redding, Raz Gatlioglu, Bassani and Vandermark. Vandermark now within striking distance. Fastest man out of that lead quintet last time around. A 1 minute 46 flat compared to a 1.46.7 for Jonathan Ray, the race leader. So Vandermark's got a lot of confidence in that BMW package underneath him. Redding also looking good at this stage. Uh, got right onto the tail of Jonathan Ray. Couldn't quite find his way through last time around. Yeah, and you can see at the back of this group, Vandermark on that white BMW trying to get through an Axel Bassani. He can see that the group is starting to splinter ever so slightly. So Van der Mark, he needs to make that move on Bassani quickly. Uh, Tati Mercado broadly going with the group. A second, the gap in front of him, though. Two and a half seconds, though, behind to Andrea Locatelli. So at best, we've got a top six covered by two seconds. Or you could look at it as a top five covered by just seven tenths. Nose to tail. And uh, any time someone runs slightly off the line or uh, makes a slight error or is slightly tentative, they're going to be swallowed up by the pack here. Scott Redding proving that as they come in towards turn 10. Jonathan Ray wants to get it stopped. Can't get it stopped. Finally gets it turned and squares it back up the inside of Redding nicely to recover the lead.
speed as they come through turns 11 and 12. Well, this, uh, ladies and gentlemen, was certainly worth waiting for. Coming in now to turn 12, Reading response. Yeah, Scott's always very strong in wet conditions. It looks like Jonathan Rado is going to try and attack him back. Ray not able to do it at this stage, but down in towards the last corner, you'd certainly expect to see him try and make another move. How long before Michael Vandermark makes a strike on Axel Bassani for fourth position? All five of these riders still very much podium contenders. And uh, Tassi Mercado will just want to hang on in there, see if he can make up ground as they begin to scrap with one another. Tally. Zach Mercado, Mercado from sixth position falls as they make their way into the final sector. That's devastation for Mercado. Sixth as good as he's ever finished in the Super White World Championship. That's where he sat. But his MIE Honda goes tumbling into the gravel trap through turn 14. Yeah, sixth position and 10 points goes a begging for Tally Mercado. It's been a strong end to the season for him and the MIE Honda team but it ends in a bit of a disappointment there for him in the gravel trap. Into lap four, Raz Gatlioglu threw on Ray here for second position. Scott Redding is taking this as an opportunity to burst away out in front. 145-301 one last time around. Ray recovers second position. Uh, still not losing too much ground, though, to Scott Redding out in front. Yeah, and uh, Redding always very strong in wet conditions. This is one of those conditions as well, one of those types of conditions that having a little bit more size can really help Scott Redding. And uh, certainly he's got that little bit more leverage of being one of the tallest riders on the grid. Still just over a second covering this uh, lead quintet. Kota Nazane's just moved through on Andrea Locatelli for seventh position. Nazane's previous best, uh, just ninth. So uh, a real opportunity for him to make a name for himself in wet conditions as Jonathan Ray goes soaring around the outside of Scott Redding on the exit of uh, turn nine. So Ray desperate to lead from the front. He will be the first to encounter uh, any changing conditions as the rain continues to come down here, here at the Mandalika International Circuit. Is. Scott Redding into second place, Raz Gatlioglu third. Redding now is going to be the next to think about a move as they come through turn 12. Yeah, if you've ever got any questions about how good the riders are at top world class action, you're getting it right now. This is the first time they've ever been around this track in wet conditions, and now they're all really trying to figure it out on the fly. You can see Michael van der Mark at the back of the group trying to attack Axel Bassani. They're all just trying to find wherever the grip is out there, adapting corner by corner, lap by lap. Yes, van der Mark was hoping to run the outside and give himself the inside for the next corner. It hasn't worked out for him. It's Bassani who's making progress here. Ralph squirreling and snaking his way to the inside line for the 10th turn. Redding tries to turn. Ray is already there. The pair touch. Ray then sweeps across the path of Scott Redding coming off turn 10 to recover the lead. Yeah, Jonathan Ray able to make the move into 10. Scott Redding's going to try and attack straight back. He wouldn't have liked that move from Ray at all. And uh, for Scott Redding, it's going to be down into turn 15. That's going to be that chance. He's got good drive through there though, to get right with Ray. Scott Redding did leave the door open. It was wide enough for Jonathan Ray to squeeze past. Redding trying to turn back across the path of Ray, who was already there. Jonathan Ray it is who leads the way. Michael Ruben Rinaldi, uh, according to our timing screens, has uh, just uh, crashed out on the circuit. We uh, haven't uh, seen any further information about that, but focus on the lead battle. Redding through on Ray. Has he overcooked it? Yes, he has. Ray's got the cutback coming through turn 16. Jonathan Ray might be about to relinquish the 2021 world title to top rack Raz Gatlioglu at the end of a run of six consecutive seasons but he is demonstrating just why he's taken all those titles it's back-to-back -back victory 